I got some pajama pants and I got my nice Heart of Northern Converse. Alright, I'm Christian. I got my Heart of Northern shirt on. I got my pajama pants and I got my nice on clouds. How many hours of sleep did you guys get last night? Uh, probably five or six hours. Yeah, uh, about six or seven hours. <laughs> my name is Mr. Reams and my shirt is from uh, Walmart. My pants and shoes are from Target. And my trumpet is from Sweetwater Music. I'm here with Jaina Duncan. What do you think about garden gnomes? Jaina. I think they're scary. Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Cardi, Playboy Cardi, Bron. You can't go good wrong. Good choice. With good choice. science experiments here. I have the yeast elephant toothpaste and the potassium iodine elephant toothpaste. Took three tablespoons of warm water and mixed it with a dry yeast packet. Now I'm going to take one fourth cup of warm water and mix one tablespoon of the potassium iodine. And now we're going to mix until this is dissolved. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to grab the 8% of hydrogen peroxide and we're going to add a couple squirts of Dawn dish soap and food coloring of your choice. All right, now we have one more thing left to do, is to combine. So, again, this is the yeast elephant toothpaste, and this is the potassium iodine elephant toothpaste. Let's see what happens. The reason why the potassium iodine elephant toothpaste is taking a little bit longer to react is because I used 8% of hydrogen peroxide instead of 35%. So, if you use 35%, usually the reaction will be much faster and much bigger. Here you will find food for your body, as well as comfort for your troubled mind. I'd really like some soup. Bread and butter. Of course, my friend. What happened to your hand? Yeah. Hey guys, DJ here, and today we at, I'm here with Keston. Yeah, me and Keston here are gonna try this seed wheat snack. Some Asian food. Let's see how it is. Uh, I'm gonna open it. Got it? Oh my god. <laughs> Here's what it looks like, guys. Yeah, you ready to eat this, man? Yeah. Bon appetit. Ooh. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. It tastes very good. I'm not digging them. It tastes, you can taste so many spices and other things of that sort. I could definitely taste the premium quality sea salt and no preservatives and it's also gluten free. Yeah. Those are some things that I can taste. I don't know about you, man. Yeah, I don't like this very much. <laughs> they taste like Brussels sprouts and some something of the sort. Well, the clock says it's time to close now. Hey guys, you can hear it. And today we have. Mr. Kaufman. We also have Daisy here, and we're going to ask you some questions about Daisy. Okay. Can like okay, so uh, first question, so why is she here? So Daisy is a certified school therapy dog, and her purpose is to basically be here for any students that are uh, needing assistance with emotional support, or who have faced trauma, or maybe have a uh, home life, or things going on in their world that they just need uplifted. Um, her purpose is to calm them down, regulate them and hopefully get them back on track and feeling good. What was her training like? How long was it? Yeah, so um, last year her and I did about 20 weeks. So she first started out and she did the Canine Good Citizen class, uh, which was on Monday nights for an hour um, at that place with Pets in Lima. It's actually on the same road as our school is on. And then uh, we did that for an hour each Monday and then we had to take a test. And so she became an AKC Good Citizen. And then the next class was what they call community dog training. Another eight weeks class, uh, again, an hour each time, same place. Uh, it was a lot more stringent and so more difficult and uh, she had to go through the pieces without hardly any errors. And then we finished our training doing a four week therapy dog class where we got to went out in the public. And so we spent a lot of time at Lowe's and pet friendly places training within the general population. And so she had to do her work on Sundays, uh, four Sundays, about three hours at a time. So once we completed those trainings, then I had to do some online coursework. And that was about three full days um, to register through Pet Partners, which is the agency that she certified through. How does she help students? Like, what way does she help the students? Yeah, so a lot of students, what I've found so far, you know, number one, they, she brings smiles to the students' faces. Uh, a lot of our students who maybe don't have pets at home or can't afford to have pets at home, uh, that they prefer the kids call her their pet here at school. Um, but it just brings smiles to their faces. Again, it calms them down. Um, she teaches the young kids how to be kind. Um, she teaches how to uh, respond. And even though she can't talk, her nonverbal stuff that she does, she'll lay with them, she lets them pet them, some of the kids enjoy giving her treats. So she actually teaches social skills even though she can't talk. So it's actually a very powerful thing. Um, when I was training, they actually said that one therapy dog is the equivalent of 20 counselors. So if you think about that, that's that's pretty significant. So how many tricks, what kind of tricks can she do? So Daisy's actually an AKC certified uh, trick dog novice. You can see that there behind me, she got some plaques. And um, in order to get that novice trick dog trained, she has to be able to do over 20 tricks. And um, some of the general things she can do is shake, she can high five, um, she can lay down, she can stay, uh, she can go get her baby, when told her to get her baby, which is her toy. Um, she can, she basically can do a bunch of things, like if I put a bunch of toys out or I put uh, a box for her to jump in, she'll do that. She can stand on different things. So it just depends what you want her to do, but the kids here at school really like to see her give out high fives. So uh, what can she do that people like can't do? Um, I would just say like just the, the comfort. Some people just don't have the skills that, that to, to be, you know, the therapy, the training, the things that counselors do. Um, she can do things that animals can just have a different impact on people than humans can. And so I just think there's a lot of things I'm still learning, that, and she's still learning, but what the extent of her uh, impact is. So uh, I'll probably get more into that later, but I, right now I'm still learning all the things that she can do. Mm. So um, what activities does she do? So here at school, she likes to read with the students. Um, she likes to stand out and greet everybody in the mornings. Um, if someone you know, needs to see her, she actually has her own Google checkout, so like kids can get on and say, hey, I want to see Daisy for a little bit, so then we'll go down into Ms. Shelby's office and uh, we'll sit down with them and talk with them. Uh, but at home, she likes to do lots of things. She likes to go swimming in the pond. She likes to chase cats out of the yard just like any normal pet would. Um, but most of all, she likes to, to be around people. Uh, what was the process of getting her to the school like? Yeah, pretty pretty long. Uh, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but the school supported her being here, and it was one of our goals on our strategic plan was to bring a certified therapy dog to school um, because we knew the impact it was going to make. Um, so it was just getting things, you know, the paperwork side to get things paid for and um, getting her a bed here at school and, you know, food and water bowls, stuff like that. But overall, it was just a long process, but not necessarily a hard process. Nice. And, um, so final question is, like, how helpful is Daisy exactly? 
So I would say she's extremely helpful. You know, I, I often joke that I want to get a little clicker, like you would get when you go into games to see how many people show up at the stadium. If I had a clicker for every time that somebody said her name or came up and pet her in a day, I think she would easily be over 500 clicks a week, um, probably averaging over 100 a day. So sometimes I think that my name is Daisy because people just yell, hey, there's Daisy, or hey, can I pet Daisy? And it's like, sometimes I just feel like I'm not there, which is great, because that just tells me the kind of pet she's me. Yeah, so that was like all the questions, so thank you for answering those, and um, see you guys later. All right, thank you. I think this may take more than five minutes. Let me see if I can zoom in on you. Molly. Okay, ready? Okay, go. Hey everybody, welcome back to the end of the podcast segment. Today we are going to be talking about upcoming events and things that have happened. Um, starting with football, we have lost one game, won five, and this next Friday game is at Ridgemont. <laughs> <laughs> the theme is whiteout. Next we have volleyball. Um, there's a volleyball game on Saturday at home. It's first. Alanis and Van Loo. Um, the theme is also white out. We have another game, um, 10 the 17th or Monday at home versus Mansfield, Mansfield Temple Christian. The theme is college. Next is cross country. There is a meet on October 12th at Ridgedale. So as far as we know, there's not any more golf, right? I don't think so. Okay, so that, yeah, that's the update for that. And then be sure to check out the paw print that came out last week. <laughs> and make sure to check out, pick up your yearbooks. And we have other journalism podcast episodes that have come out. Make sure to check out the one from three or four weeks ago. I don't remember how long ago. And all of the other journalism episodes that other people are making. You can do this by searching Miss Yudo in your Gmail for the emails that she has sent out and you can also check out the HN YouTube channel. Bye. <laughs> Make sure to go to homecoming. It's October 12th and there's a game that Friday night. There will be crowning um, and the tickets are on sale. Make sure to get your tickets. Peace out. We bring the ball. That's what we do. We bring the ball. We bring the